If you're looking to go to Page, Arizona, if you're looking to go to the Lower Antelope Canyon, Canyon X, if you're looking to go skydiving, to go on UTV tours, kayaking and hiking, watch this video because I'm gonna share everything, basically my whole itinerary for this trip. Let's get it rolling. So I live in Miami and what I did was I flew from Miami to Phoenix and then I took a small little plane from Phoenix to Page, Arizona. When I got to Phoenix, I had about like a five, six hour layover. And so I went to this lounge called the Escape Lounge. I was expecting it to be like super exclusive, but it's not, anyone could go. It was about $20 or $30. It comes with unlimited food and drinks, like alcohol and non-alcoholic. When we left from Phoenix to Page, Arizona, that flight was only about 40 minutes. We could have drove, but we decided to fly. And the plane we were on was so small. There's like no one on the plane. There's like six people here. So we landed, walked right into the airport, walked right to get our car. Car was ready. Yeah, I want to, but it's in we went grocery shopping to get some food and snacks for the tours and everything we were going on. And then we went to the hotel, got some dinner. I think we had sushi the first night. They have a bunch of food. The sushi was okay. Definitely not the best I've had. Probably wouldn't recommend the sushi actually, now that I think about it, it wasn't that good. But the Mexican food was amazing and I'll get to that toward the end of this video. We stayed at a hotel called the Beaumont Inn. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it was perfect because it was basically very central for all the tours we went on besides the Grand Canyon because we drove there and I think that was a two hour drive. And they have free coffee and breakfast. The breakfast was kind of like box cereal though it wasn't anything like fancy so okay so day one we did antelope canyon canyon x and the atv sunset tour so let's start with the antelope canyon day one Woo! this is lexi if you guys don't know you definitely don't but say hello <laughs> I'm gonna let Lexi explain to you guys where we're going and what we're doing and what time because I keep forgetting. Wow, I can't believe the camera's not moving. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, were the lights on that whole night? No. <gasps> so first adventure of the day is at nine. We're going to Ken's Tours to do the Lower Antelope Canyon. I'll put like all the information down below and stuff if um, you guys want to know about the tours. Because we honestly used YouTube to like find all of our tours. Because <laughs> there's so many different tours out here. After the one o'clock tour, then we have, we're going to go to do ATVs for sunset. <laughs> Lexi takes the best pictures. No, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at selfies, but I'm not good when other people take pictures of me. And I think I'm the opposite. <laughs> that was probably one of our favorite tours that we went on. You are now entering, how do you say that, Navajo? Navajo. 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 <laughs> we arrived. We're not allowed to bring our backpacks. Or tripods. So I'm buying this bear bag. Eight dollars. It's cute, it says yeah. like Ken's So there's store. no tripods, no GoPros. So just this. It'll be eight for eight. The only thing is you can't take any videos, but you can take photos. And we went in October of 2021 and we were required to wear a mask. Do you want? That's us. <laughs> you got the best party. <laughs> we're exhausted. <laughs> you or... can do a photography tour, it's more expensive. So basically this one, you could bring your phone and your camera, but you can't bring a tripod. Like the girl we had, her name was Anna A. She was amazing. She's so sweet. I she felt so, so bad because we were literally holding up the entire tour. <laughs> and now we're gonna take our immunity shots because we, need it. we just need it. Cheers. I wonder how long my camera's gonna stay there without moving. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> When you're you doing this, you don't need anything. Just bring your phone. Don't bring water, anything. It's it's so rushed to the point where 
It was more. It's annoying. only an hour tour. Yeah, it's only an hour. Actually, like an hour and a half because we were slow taking pictures. It goes by fast. And after the tour, we went and got Mexican food at El Tapatio. Ew. We're at El Tapatio. Our food came out so fast. I got shrimp, fish, and steak tacos. And let's got chicken, shrimp. This is tour number two. We're doing Antelope Canyon X. It was a little further. It was like more further south. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna bring my camera because the last one we didn't we couldn't even take videos inside of the canyon. So I'm just gonna bring my phone. If you have to choose one, I would pick the lower Antelope Canyon. Antelope Canyon X was a further drive. It was probably like 15 minutes versus the lower Antelope Canyon was like five minutes down the road. We didn't get to go to upper Antelope Canyon because the tickets were sold out. So if you are looking to go, book in advance. And then after that, we went to the ATV Sunset. So basically, when we went ATVing, it was only me and my friend Lexi. There was no one else on the tour, so we basically got like a private tour, and it was so fun. We got one big AT, I don't know if it's called an ATV or UTV, but I'm, I'm just gonna call it ATV. We got one big ATV, and basically we just switched on and off like halfway through. And like I said, we did the sunset tour. It was so nice, it was so fun, it was so bumpy which was kind of scary i thought we were gonna fall over a bunch of times like it was fun i definitely recommend doing that so fun so that was all day one now we're moving on to day two and we went to the grand canyon i did upload a vlog from a skydiving vlog so if you want to see the skydiving part more in detail i'll leave something up here on the screen watch that video because in this vlog i just included a little bit in case you already watched that one so you don't watch it again but here we go it is wednesday 6 a.m <laughs> and she's about to go jump out of a plane <laughs> how do you feel lexi tired <laughs> we are about to drive two and a half hours from page arizona to the grand canyon this fearless woman <laughs> can jump out of a plane. Retention's pretty nice. Lexus, what's going on today? What are you up to? I'm about to go skydiving the Grand Canyon. Is it your first time? time? Yep. Nervous? I'm nervous, but not as nervous as long as it's me. I'm more excited. Awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so close. <laughs> 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 You guys jumped out of the plane at 11-11. No I swear to God. So we just left the skydiving. Stopped at the Grand Canyon for view number one. Now we're heading to Shoshone Point because it was recommended to us. The guy said it's like the best view of the Grand Canyon. So that's where we're going. So it was a two hour drive from Page to the Grand Canyon. There was basically nowhere to stop. So if you have to use the bathroom, make sure you go before. You do have to pay to enter the Grand Canyon. I think it was like $30, but it's good for the day or a few days or something like that. So after Lexi went skydiving, which by the way, I almost went skydiving. They literally almost talked me into it. You need to inspire more men to do that. More people, everyone, follow their dreams. I couldn't get you to do it. No, you don't. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to next time, and I'm gonna make sure you're that here. Lie from so no. many people. Except, you know, it was like six hundred dollars, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to do it that bad. <laughs> but maybe in the future, I, I, I really, I would like to do it. Okay, so after the Grand Canyon, we went to Horseshoe Bend. I'm gonna insert the footage here. We officially made it to Horseshoe Bend. Yeah. You have to pay to enter right there. What was it, five dollars? Ten. Ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> We're not coordinated. Should we just run? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Really? Yeah. Horseshoe Bend is a must see, especially if you want an Instagram picture and if you just want to see some cool nature. And I recommend seeing it for sunset. There are a lot of people there, so be prepared for that. We went at sunset, although it's open like all the time. So you can go in the morning, you go at sunset. It's technically a one mile walk from where you park, but 
you literally like see it. Like it's the shortest mile ever. You can bring regular shoes. You don't have to wear like hiking boots. Oh, and I forgot to mention um, about like hiking boots. I only packed running like workout sneakers. Lexi packed hiking boots and I was fine with workout sneakers for everything we did. If I were you, I wouldn't plan like your whole morning at Horseshoe Bend. It's more like an hour max. So day three, we went kayaking and hiking. We went hiking on the kayak tour. Then we went e-biking, electric biking. Both was organized through the same company called Lake Powell Adventure. Highly recommend both, both. I'm gonna insert the footage here. Okay, last day, Lexi, where are we going? We're gonna go kayak Lake Powell mm -hmm. and see some canyons through the lake. <laughs> Yeah, I'd bring it all. So he gave us this dry bag that we are putting in an extra pair of shoes, jacket. Yeah, I just put everything in there. Just in case it gets wet. And then we also have this for our phones and our waters, but we brought these so we can like use them while we're kayaking. But basically the kayaking was really fun. It was very exhausting though. It was an all day tour. I would recommend it doing it in the morning um, because I, I don't even know if they have other times, but we did it in the morning. And for this one, you wanna bring snacks with you because you're out for like six hours. So basically you park your car, you walk down this big hill, your tour guide tells you how everything's about to go down. We are holding our paddle. This scoop side is called your power face. It's like a spoon. We all had our own kayaks, like me and Lexi shared. It was exhausting, especially when the sun came out. I think it took like a good hour or two to get to the hiking trail. So you basically kayak to the hiking trail, then you kayak back. And once we got to the hiking trail, that was really fun. I would say that was probably my favorite hiking part of the whole trip. There was this one part where it was like this small, this space, and you had to like move through it and like jump over rocks and stuff like that. If this sounds like scary to you, I promise it's fine. Then we left, we kayaked back just in time to get food and to go e-biking because we were not smart enough and we didn't bring food with us. So we stopped and got fast food at this Mexican place. If I can remember the name, I'll put it here. And then we went right to e-biking. It was me and my friend Lexi. No one else booked the tour. The e-bikes were so cool because it kind of felt like you were riding a bike, but it was electric, so you didn't have to do like the hard work, you know? The tires were probably like that thick, but you're going up the mountains and it is kind of scary, but you're not gonna fall. You're, you have the gas on your handle, you're not gonna fall, but all of these were on the affordable side. The only thing that was the most expensive was the ATV or UTV. And I think it was like 250 or 200 total. See, just an over cap. Would I recommend going to Page, Arizona? Definitely. If you go, you only really need a couple days. Definitely hit at least one Antelope Canyon. I would recommend Lower Antelope Canyon. I would also recommend the ATV or the UTV. I would also recommend the e-bikes. I would also recommend the kayaking. For food, there's a lot of food. I would say um, the Mexican food was really good. We also found a really good Thai spot. Oh, if I can remember the name, I will put it here because it was such good Thai food. We also found a gym. There's a really nice gym actually. So if you need a gym, they have a gym. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions and if you're planning a trip, just leave a comment below and I will answer all the questions for you guys. That is all you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's free and give this video a thumbs up. It will push this video out to other people looking for this information. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in my next video very soon. Thank <laughs> you.